When emergency crews showed up to put out this fire, they did not realize a gunman was hiding inside the burning home about to ambush them. No first responders were hurt during that April incident, but the attacker shot and hurt one of his neighbors. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest joins us now live in studio. And Mike, that gunman fired a lot of bullets. Uh, Lisa, we're told that the houses across the street were struck more than 100 times. Some of those bullets hit a neighbor who had been asleep in his second story bedroom. Tonight, he's out of the hospital as we reveal more about how the ambush occurred. You need to be cognizant. We still don't know where the shooter is. Two emergencies happening at once. Just before this Kissimmee house caught on fire in April, a man sleeping in his home across the street climbed out of bed and was shot several times as bullets blasted through the window. At first, sheriff's dispatchers did not know whether the fire and shooting were related. My understanding is the victim was inside the house, so I believe it was a drive-by shooting possibly. But it was not a drive-by shooting. Little did authorities know, the gunman, later identified as Elijah Smith, was inside this burning home, alive, and about to take aim at firefighters. The first oh, wow. deputy on scene gave clearance for the fire department to roll in. I just need you to confirm seeing a secure FFD. 10 plus easy here. Ten minutes later, semi-automatic gunfire erupted from the second story of this burning home, striking at least one of the fire trucks. Firefighters immediately took cover and let the house burn. We're not going to put up the fire until we can pull another active shooter. Meanwhile, deputies and firefighters were able to help the 68-year-old shooting victim walk to a waiting ambulance. As for the neighbor who opened fire on him... If you don't have any friends like me... Sheriff's officials discovered Elijah Smith had posted several YouTube videos shortly before the attack that became part of law enforcement's investigation. Working on cars in the driveway again, that's great. In one, authorities noticed Smith arguing with the neighbor he would later shoot. The HOA clearly states you cannot work on vehicles. Last year, the Homeowners Association sued Smith for violating several HOA rules. It also sued Smith's ex-girlfriend, who recently left him, according to court records. In his final YouTube video discovered by authorities, Smith argued COVID-19 was a government conspiracy. If you're quarantining healthy people, you're imposing martial law without actually calling it martial law. Call a star. The next morning, while searching what remained of Smith's home, authorities say they found the 41-year-old's body with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Now, authorities could not determine a motive for the shooting, but pointed out that Smith had a history of mental illness. Uh, according to the Osceola County Sheriff's spokesman, the deputy who gave clearance for the fire department to respond was inside the victim's home when he determined that his scene was secure. The victim says that deputy, Todd Bonford, saved his life. Wow. Lisa and Ginger. Just an incredible story.